did you stumble upon this vehicle? So yeah, so we were working a missing persons case from a woman that went missing in 1995. She was living at the Lifestyles Apartments, which is about 500 yards from here. It's on the other side of those bridges. Um, she went missing after dropping her daughter off at the elementary school, and they never found her vehicle. She was driving a 1993 Mazda Protege at the time. Um, we specifically work missing persons cases where people went missing in their vehicles and the vehicle has never showed up. And uh, so what brought us to this canal was it's the closest body of water to her residence. So we figured, did she accidentally drive into this canal? Um, was there some type of accident? The parking lot to her apartment complex has no guardrail. You can literally drive from the parking lot, you know, into the water. So you think, was there some type of accident? Was there something else? Was there foul play? So that's what brought us here. We were sonar in this canal. I think it was on Friday. And uh, coming up, we got a hit at 15 feet deep. And Ken from Recon Dive Recovery works with us, and uh, he dove in the vehicle and confirmed it was a early 70s uh, Chevy Vega. So we actually had to take parts off the vehicle um, to actually figure out what type of vehicle it was. Okay, and so do you guys have any kind of determination on how you're going to get this car out? So yeah, it looks like so. It looks like behind you, the wrecker just showed up, and they brought in a looks like a rotator. So uh, the car's in really bad shape. Ken said everything he touched on the vehicle literally crumbled in his hands. So um, with that, knowing that, it's going to be an extremely difficult task for these uh, sheriff's divers to try getting this, this car out. But, you know, Pinellas County's got an amazing dive team. If anybody can do it, it's going to be these guys. What are some of the obstacles they're facing in bringing this Well, car out? you know, they've got alligators and very low visibility. Um, the visibility down there is probably less than six inches. So everything is, I mean, you got to be, it's, it's, it's almost right up against your, your mask, you know. And do you know how deep? Uh, it's, yeah, it's 15 feet deep. The vehicle's fit, and it's and it's on its wheels. So it, you know, a lot of times they flip upside down. Um, you know, depending on if they have that air pocket, we tend to find this is a station wagon. So we find tend to find station wagons, minivans, those type of vehicles because they have a large air pocket inside the vehicle. They tend to float longer than um, a small a smaller vehicle like a pickup truck or something like that. So most likely that's you know that's probably why this one ended up you know ended up on its wheels. How exciting is it whenever you guys actually strike onto something? Well, this one here, you know, we got really excited because it's it's so close to Brenda's apartment. You could see her apartment building from here. Um, so when we, you know, we were excited. And then, you know, we dove it. It's just like it goes from complete excitement and exhilaration to complete, you know, <laughs> the let down disaster. You know, it's like... Uh, it's just a bummer when you find out it's not the vehicle you're looking for, and it's just uh, you're very disappointed. But you have to carry on. You know we're going to continue searching, and you know, and hopefully someday we can locate our vehicle. Do you know where you're going to look next? Um, yeah, we've got other bodies of water here on the north side of Pinellas County, um, not far from here, just a few miles. Uh, so we're going to start uh, poking at bodies of water up there over the next 12 months. Okay. Anything else you'd like to add? Um, no, that's that's uh, pretty much it. So, <laughs> all right, good. Oh yeah. Cool. Yep, you're not taking that with you. I know. <laughs> <laughs> Eric would kill us. That'd be a sad <laughs> We might end up in the body of water. <laughs> so is the, you think the hey, car is hey, still uh, I, It looks like, do you know what? They brought that record. When I saw that record show up, um, what did he say to you, by the way? Oh, just to stand back from the record. He says that they don't think that it, they're going to be able to pull it out with the tow truck. It's probably in pieces because yeah, all the times that they've exactly. done stuff like this have been like that. Yeah. But, I mean, you never know. But did he say anything else to you? No, that guy didn't. Um, he just said stand back. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. yeah. Hmm. He's the boss. Everybody mm -hmm. fears that guy.